my temporary crib, babe. Thanks for carrying my books. <laughs> Anything to help keep your gun hand free, Mixmaster B. <laughs> That's Grandmaster B. And I don't carry a gun anymore because I have a new life here in Bel Air. I mean Chicago. <laughs> and excite me when you talk like that. Take me. First, do it for me, B. Give me your rap. the streets where everyone's meat. Guns in the night put you under a sheet. Can't love no one cause he's on the run. Sleeps in the alleys, wakes by the sun. Listen to the sirens, thinking they're for me. It's a lonely life for Grandmaster B. Yes, a lonely life for Grandmaster B. Yeah! <laughs> No problem. Oh, well, look! My little man is getting his first kiss. You're the coolest, Grandma B. That's Grandmaster B. Look, babe, I think I'm gonna have to rat my way out of the rent now. You, know, you go on home and. Wait by the phone, because if I call and you're not there, you go to the bottom of the list. <laughs> what did I tell you to? <laughs> I am Grandmaster B. Grand Master B. Mommy, I'm cool. You're ruining it for me. I'm cool. <laughs> Gee, I'm really sorry, Grand Marshal B. <laughs> no, Mom, I think it's... Bedwetter B. Are you sure? I thought it was Court Jester B. Hey! Hey! Guess what I found in the attic? It's something of my father's that served him well for 20 years. And now, will serve me for the rest of my life. A pair of socks? But what do you think I found? If it's a rubber woman, Dad, I can explain. <laughs> You send away for one Archie comic, and the next thing you know, they put you on a list and they... Uh, right. <laughs> pumpkin? You found a pumpkin, Daddy? <laughs> well, I, I guess I'll tell you all, since none of you singly deserve to know. I found my father's hammer. Ooh. <laughs> this hammer has been in my family for generations. With this, my father hit the now famous Bundy nail. And upon that nail, he did hang his hat. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> my dad had one great dream. And that dream was handed down from generation to generation of male Bundys to build their own room and live separately from their wives. <laughs> Sadly, they all failed. No. Genetically, they all fail. <laughs> well, not me. I'm going to do it. Look, Dad, I've got your hammer. Your little boy's going to build his own room. <laughs> Mom, who is he talking to? Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Watch <laughs> yourself, dear. <laughs> you know, if you pick too much today, you'll have nothing left to pick tomorrow. <laughs> And you know how we all look forward to your annual ear, nose, and tooth medley. <laughs> you know, it's a shame you don't have another arm. Then you could just sort of get them all going at once. <laughs> you know, Peg, if you'd wash my socks, they might not adhere to my feet. <laughs> great, Dad. Thanks for the great time. <laughs> Oh, Daddy, you're home. I, um, I got up early so I could get you the Sunday paper. Where is it? 
Where's what? Gee, Kale. You're wearing the same dress you wore out for your date last night. How does it keep its shape in the glove compartment of a car? Oh, go kiss your Stridex pad. Now, wait a minute. Is everybody gonna be home today? Not me. I've gotta get some money for tickets to the Oozing Meat concert tomorrow. <laughs> so I've gotta roll up my sleeves and work really hard to get this money. Oh, Daddy, can I have the money, please? All the kids are going and it's only $175. Then I'm afraid that you can't go, Punky. <laughs> Mommy, can I have the money? All the kids are going. Crying only works on men, dear. Well, there aren't any more in the room. <laughs> Gotta get that money, but I don't know how. Oh, my head hurts. I have to rest. <sighs> Come on, Kel. Just do like I do. Use your wits. I do. I said wits. <laughs> With a W. <laughs> Mommy, he's spelling at me again. Stop taxing your sister, bud. I don't know what you're so happy about, Warthog. You need money for tickets, too. Au contraire, boy go round. <laughs> I have my ticket. Hell. Hello, Mr. Bundy. We're ready to go camping. Well, have a good time. <laughs> What now? You're taking us camping, Bundy. We own you. We bought you in an auction, see? Go a camping and a trapping with Al Daniel Bundy? <laughs> Bud, did you sell your dad? Well, you're the only thing in this house we could spare. Honey, this will be great for the kids. A camping and a trapping, a picking and a flicking. <laughs> You can have a toe jamboree. Hey, Al. Oh, hi there, neighborhood tykes. Hey, it's the guy who gives us potatoes on Halloween. <laughs> Steve, look what Bud did. Wilderness man and trapper learned how to survive. Bundy's trying to weasel out of the deal. How can you disappoint these kids, Al? Look at their innocent little faces. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll take you, little fellas. Yeah! But you're not the great-great-grandson of Daniel Bundy. That's true. My ancestors could read and write. <laughs> oh, come on, Al. If you trap too many bars to carry home, I'll hip you. I would rather slam my nose in a car door. I would rather have a proctologist named Dr. Hook. Watch Roseanne Barr do a strip tease, then take these little booger machines camping. Well, good, honey. Then we can spend the whole day together snuggling. <laughs> Up, campers! Let's go get us some gear, chip in for gas, and get me the hell out of here. Have a good time, Dad. Uh, not so fast, Daniel Jr. See, if I'm a going, you're a going. The only difference is. I'm a coming back. <laughs> Psst. Psst. Damn leaky rubber woman. <laughs> somewhere. And since Aunt Marcy said never, ever, ever to come over here, here I am. Yeah. Ooh. I hurt my neck climbing over the fence. Could you rub it? Yeah. With my hands? <laughs> Surprise me. Wait a minute. I know what's happening. I'm dreaming again. 
Yeah, that's it. As soon as I touch her, I'll be in school without my pants on. Come on, bud, rub me. Hurry. <laughs> Hey, this is great. Gee, I hope I don't wake up with the whole family staring at me. <laughs> Again. Ooh, your hands feel so strong. Especially the right one. <laughs> Do you work out? Kind of. <laughs> Odd. I don't normally make fun of myself in my dreams. <laughs> Still, this can't be real. Oh well, there's only one way to know for sure. Amber? Wanna have sex? Sure. <laughs> Yep, it's a dream, all right. <laughs> but who cares? <laughs> oh, wow. It was my first dream where the girl actually said yes. <laughs> I just want you to know that you're by far the best lover I've ever had. It's like you really know your body. Yeah, well, you can chalk that up to experience. I mean, with women. Not that I lay here at night and feel myself up. Because that would be really pathetic and dumb. Well, I better get back. Um, Amber? Can I see you tomorrow? window. <laughs> you know, Peg, it's kind of nice sitting here like this with you. How many beers did you have tonight, Al? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> so I guess we're about a six-pack short of sex, huh? At least. <laughs> I have juicy gossip. It's about Cousin Jimmy. Uh-oh. Did he find out our little bud slept with his bride on their wedding day? <laughs> he must have. I heard he's getting a divorce, and he's coming to see Bud today. I think he's going to squish the little love critter. <laughs> Well, here's the footstool of love now. <laughs> Family, this is my lucky day. I was at school, and there was one of the great parties in all of history, a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> Large hootered Midwestern farm girls were sliding down this beer chute half naked. There was dancing, there was loving. My first big frat party. Just a great bunch of guys having the time of their lives and it took him a full 15 minutes to see me peeking in the window and kick me out. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dad, you should have seen them. They were biggins. They were littleins. <laughs> Roundins. <laughs> Pear-shapedins. <laughs> Here a nun, there a nun. Everywhere a nun. 
Oh, sure, like I'm the only peeping Tom in this family. Well, I guess you deserve to know, tiny dancer. <laughs> Cousin Jimmy is on his way over to have a little chat with you. Well, well, well what do you think he wants? Your bu bu butt in a sling. <laughs> Oh my God, that must be Jimmy. You better run. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Cousin Bug. Hi, Cousin Kelly. Hi, Uncle Al, Aunt Peggy. Hello, Cousin Buck. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we only get together at weddings and funerals. Step outside, bud. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll handle this. Come on in, Jimmy. We heard the news. Congratulations. Hey, anybody can eat a hundred Whoppers. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the breakup. Now, let's face it, you already had the honeymoon, and that's the best part of the marriage. If it goes any longer, they turn into this. <laughs> and if you're really unlucky, you get a couple of these. <laughs> then you turn into this. <laughs> yeah, but she was the perfect woman. She was beautiful, she was rich, and her parents are dead. Boy, you must really want to kill that guy. Kill him? I want to rend him. I want to rip off his arms, shove one of them down his throat, and have him tear out his own heart. <laughs> anyway, Bud, I need to talk to you. Bud? <laughs> you crack me up. Now get outside. Uh... I'll be, I'll be right with you. No, oh, Dad, I don't want him to pull my arms off and rip out my heart. All I did was sleep with his wife. What does he want from me? Now, bud, just relax. I know how to handle this. I met a lot of big, stupid bullies when I was growing up. Uh-uh, Al. When you were growing up, you were the big, stupid bully. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was good at it, too. But I wasn't just big and stupid. I was also mean. <laughs> I used to scare people like you. Your mother scares me. <laughs> Dad, can you ox around later? I'm facing death over here. All right, all right. Now, here's what you do. As soon as he opens his mouth, you punch him right in the bread basket with everything you got. He'll drop faster than a stock after I buy it. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. All right, now go get him. All right, go get him. Peg, looks like there'll just be three of us for dinner. <laughs> Bud, <laughs> I got a dilemma. This thing's really eating me up. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me over to play strip study, Bud. Well, just like it says on the box, it's a game with no losers. <laughs> Okay, Ariel. <clears throat> Ulysses S. Grant was a general in which war? Um, the war on drugs? <laughs> mm, close. Now, the correct answer is the Civil War. They named a war after Civil Shepherd? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now, you know the rules. For each wrong answer, you must remove one piece of clothing. If I'd known the rules, I would have worn underwear. <laughs> okay, who was the first president of the United States? George Washington? Wrong. Gosh, bud, I'm not that smart. I can't figure out why you'd want to study with me. <laughs> Well, you make every subject come to life. Bud, finals are a week away, and every time we try to study, we end up having sex. Trust me, Ariel. In two minutes, we'll be right back to study. What is it? George Washington was the first president of the United States.
Oh, my God. Do you know what time it is? Uh, six o'clock? Oh, it's eight o'clock. Damn! <laughs> We're not playing that game anymore, Ariel. It's morning. What am I gonna do? If I don't pass these exams, I won't graduate. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Well, won't it be awkward when your family sees me coming out of your room? I have girls over here all the time. <laughs> they won't even bat an eye. Come on, let's go. Son, your first sleepover date. Man, with a girl, too. Unless it's one of those crying game kind of things. How did you guys know Ariel was here? Well, for once, the cries of, oh, bud, oh, bud, wasn't just you throwing your voice. <laughs> And then about 1 a.m., you subtly yelled out the window, I just got busy. <laughs> now, being down with the lingo you youngsters use today, I knew that you had just done the function at the junction. <laughs> so, you spent the night with my brother, Bud. Could you, uh, could you bend your head forward, please? Nope, no air nozzle. <laughs> Will you leave her alone? The girl just had the best sex of her life. I didn't say it was the best. I said you did your best. <laughs> so, bud, shall I study your brains out again tonight? No, 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 no. I really have to study alone. I have to get my diploma so I can get the hell out of this house. <laughs> But, uh, but, come here a second, son. You're, uh, you're gonna do the right thing by this girl now, aren't you? You mean marry her? No, I mean never call her again. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks for the advice, Dad. Look, Ariel, I really need to get my grades up, all right? So, uh, until finals are over, I'm swearing off sex. That's a good idea. I'm gonna get my grades up, too. So you'll swear off sex also? No, I'm gonna sleep with all my teachers. 